Nearly a dozen people are trying to figure out what to do next after a fire destroys three homes and seriously damages a fourth in Bridgeport. It happened on Hanover Street. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live with the latest on the investigation. Josh? It was a day that was as tragic as it was heroic. As the flames burned, two police officers rescued three people and a dog from those flames. But we talked to those who called these now empty lots home, and they say that there's still a long road ahead. All I see was a lot, a lot of smoke. On a street with a row of homes that fit together like dominoes. There's a noticeable gap near a team of people in brightly colored vests. I look out the window through the balcony, and I see all the smoke. Friday afternoon, flames tore through three buildings and severely damaged a fourth on the 300 block of Hanover Street in Bridgeport. The scene, say witnesses, was nothing short of chaotic. I see a whole bunch of people just running out and screaming. Noises Lisette Romero can't get out of her head. She watched everything unfold from a nearby home as she babysat a young relative. I was ready to pack the baby stuff and put him in the car seat and leave. The fire never reached where Lisette and the child she was looking after were staying. Thank God my son was home at the time. Thank God he had a half a day today. Otherwise, he would not even have known. The same can't be said for Pia Alliston Carr. She is one of 11 people without a home. And I know the most important thing is that my son got out safe, and I'm grateful to God for that. She may be taking what happened in stride. But for the city of Bridgeport, safeguarding those impacted has and will remain an ongoing process. We have um, a warming center that we opened up at, at a local school, Caesar Battaglia School. Uh, there are about 21 people who are there. It's mostly for uh, the people who were without power uh, during the fire uh, to keep them warm. The cause of the fire still isn't known. What is? This day could have been a whole lot worse. There have been no injuries reported. Most important thing is our lives. City officials say there was a renovation going inside one of the buildings prior to the fire. It is not clear at this time, however, if that incident is connected to what happened here. For now, we're live in Bridgeport. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.